Well, what's up everyone, this is Matt Mrozik, and this will be a review of the Mobius 1.8 scale resin Batman kit. So this is the uh, Superman versus Batman or Batman versus Superman movie version um, for Mobius. And I got these because I got them for a really good price. Um, whoops, a little thing fell down. Uh, these are nice kits, they're 1.8 scale, so they're smaller. So all you quarter scale guys are probably like, oh, it's too small for my collection. Um, which is a shame because they admit there's a lot of great of a lot of great pieces in one six scale and even one eighth or one seventh scale. Um, but all these guys want these huge pieces. You know they they think if they swing their big dick they make an impression. <laughs> and, but whatever. Uh, so this this is actually a really cool piece. I'm glad I got it. Um, I wouldn't have paid for it at full price simply because I think the pose is a little weird, but the sculpt is great. It's a very high quality piece, and you can still get this piece. Um, you can get it from you can buy it from Mobius, you can get it from Cultman TV, you can get it from Squadron. I got this at Squadron Eagle Quest uh, the other weekend because as part of your ticket, you can go shopping in the warehouse and shop for 40% off. So I got them for like, I think 75 or 80 bucks. So it was a good price. Uh, I, I want to pay the normal like 130 for them. I don't think it's worth that um, simply because of the pose. Um, around the back, you can see here what he looks like. Um, I saw when he's painted up at Waterfest in the contest and looked really good. I'm actually going to talk to someone about casting the head and clear so I can light the eyes. Um, my buddy Saul Alvarez did the um, the master paint up for the for the box art, so and he's uh, probably one of the best painters out there, figure painters. So uh, the packaging is real nice, which is what I you know like good packaging. The one thing I don't like is the foam they use; um, it gets everywhere. It's just this messy kind of packing foam, so it it makes a mess as you unpack. So I'm just going to put this on the ground and uh, pull the pieces out. Um, you get a set of instructions, which you really don't need. But some nice artwork. So this is Ben Affleck, and even though you're only seeing his mouth, you can tell right away it's Ben Affleck. So the sculpt is really, really nice. Basic instructions. Again, it's a really easy piece to put together, so you really don't need the instructions. but. They're really gearing this towards a, a new modeler, beginner modeler. And then here's what he looks like finished. Um, I really actually like the Wonder Woman. I need to grab her. Um, that's probably the best out of the series. And they also have a, um, see I've got Batman. I have, I'm going to do review Superman. They have Wonder Woman and they also have uh, Zod. There's a Zod one that looks pretty good. So all the pieces come in this styrofoam. And it's, everything's like custom cut to fit, so it's packed very well. It's very heavy poly stone, very high quality. So everyone's like, it feels light. The only thing that's light is the cape, which makes sense because uh, you don't want all that weight. But it's designed extremely well. It can actually, I can actually put the whole thing together without any pins or anything. So I'm going to take it all out and put it together real quick. Uh, there's some little pipes down there I'm not going to worry about. Like I said, this is the styrofoam that gets everywhere. And this is, you know, fully licensed piece. Alright, and then there's that. Okay. So, I'll get my turntable out here. We'll put this guy together. So again, very high quality, nice weight to the, to the thing. Uh, base is very simple, just goes like that. There are three other little pieces of pipe that are in the, I didn't take them out, but they just kind of stick in the base. Um, as far as like seam work, you have the option of just like leaving the separate, like if you're gonna ship this to a client, maybe leaving the separate. Um, because then you can use the, the, the packaging that it came in, which is great. Um, or you would have to glue this down, do a little seam work right here, and then pack, repack it. Personally, I would probably just leave it separate and leave that seam there uh, just for packing purposes. Um, but you can just get them together. So he's only supported by one foot, which I love. I love it when kits are kind of designed in a way where it looks like they shouldn't work. <laughs> and then this leg goes there. I'm gonna put the torso on. So out of the two I'm gonna review, this one and Superman, this is this pose is way better than the Superman pose. 
Superman pose looks just off to me. Um, the sculpt, it's a great sculpt, but the poses are just weird, I think. Oh, that's right. So this is it. So this works by putting the cape in. There's actually a nice big key in the, in the front of the cape that locks it in place and the head goes into the cape like that. Oops. Let me get my blue tech out again, just cause I'm gonna be moving around. I had them together the other day, no problem. But since I'll be spinning them around on this base, I'm gonna use a little blue tech to kind of, just to kind of hold them together. Make sure I don't run a, my uh, disc is almost full on my phone. So I gotta keep checking, make sure I'm recording. Just like that. And you can still get this kit if you if you like them. I think he goes for around one. It's like one. I've seen it between one twenty-five and like one forty, depending on where you get it. Um, I think that's a little high for this piece. Um, like I said, I got it at Wonderfest with the forty percent off. I think I paid like I want to say maybe it was ninety dollars for him. He's a little more expensive. He's out of the, out of the series. He's a more expensive one because he's got a big base. And then we have this uh, strap that goes across his chest. And I don't think I've had this on there yet. Let's see where does it go. Oh yeah, it comes around to the back. Something like this. I think it goes like this. Yeah. So this comes around to the back like that. Yeah, they'll plug in once I clean that hole out a little bit better. But there you go. Pretty cool piece. Alright, let's come in a little tighter. And the height on this guy, so he's only one eighth, is right at. For about 15 inches. I actually like um, how he's jumping off this building, or the, this rubble's real nice, I like the cape. The detail, the base is simple, which is great. The detail in the suit's awesome, actually. A lot of nice detail in there, in the sculpt. And um, you can tell it's Ben Affleck, even though you can see his face, that they nailed the, the Ben Affleck look, which is surprising, considering all you're seeing in his mouth. Let me see if I can come a little closer, so you can see that. Maybe not. Probably not showing up there, but you can get a sense of what he looks like. So there you go. That's the Mobius uh, Batman versus Superman 1/8 scale resin kit. Um, like I said, I think it's I think it's a cool piece. Um, should be a fun thing to paint up. I've never casted anything. Um, I'll see about casting the head in clear resin and playing the eyes up. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, all, all other alternative is just you just drill the eyes out and drill a hole in the head and then pour some clear resin into the eyes and light it up that way. But that seems like a lot more work than just casting the head. But there you go. Pretty neat piece. Small, compact, and very high quality. But there you go. As always, thanks for watching. This is Matt Mrozik. We'll catch you guys next time.